duo with social media. Welcome back to Rise and Shine Las Vegas. And today, I know we have her last week, but uh, it's really great to have her back this week. Welcome, to Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Well, uh, Michelle actually is a realtor here in Las Vegas, and you work with uh, Brookshire Hathaway Home Services. Yes. How long you been on? How long you been doing this? Um, I have been doing real estate full time in Las Vegas since March twenty, no March fifth of two thousand and one. March. So twenty two years. Twenty two years. Well, yes. the reason why I bring that up, uh, viewers, is you see one of the one of uh, the things that you i went to school as a i went to school for real uh, for real real estate classes but i didn't get i didn't took my license um i am certified but i'm not licensed <laughs> technically <laughs> right <laughs> so anyways and then i'm uh, that is from other state but anyways um so when you are buying a house and when you are selling a house i think or in general, not only buying a house, not only for realtors, but you go on who are well experienced. They know their shit. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they know what uh, they they literally is trained for that. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with other job. When you are well trained, you know what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I actually mentioned this last week. Go on the real realtor <laughs> because you can see three different realtor, right? So I think one of the real realtor is somebody who have an experience and uh, experience also in the market where you are. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? And you've right. been doing this in Las Vegas for quite a while. Right. And it's not always just the amount of time that I'm in the business. It's what I do to educate myself on a weekly basis. Because I could be in the business 22 years and not doing the extra work it takes to learn more and more and more. Mm -hmm. where so it's not really the time, it's it's the knowledge that you you make yourself go learn, you know, to stay on top of market changes and what kind of financing and so forth. So, I mean, I could be 20 years in the business and just skate by and not, you know, just going with the old way, but it's ever changing. You know, it's always changing in the marketplace, so you got to stay up to date on everything. You know, it's not just that I have 22 years in the business, it's what I do to excel. And help you. So what um, uh, from when you started, let's say, on your first five years as a realtor, and uh, and now, what uh, what are the most you know uh, most uh, relatable to the client that you learned from the first five years to now? Uh, well, not so much relatable. It's what you contribute to their lives. It's it's a customer service business. It's not sales, right? Mm -hmm. So in my first five years. I was just learning it. Real estate wasn't what I expected when I first got into it. I thought things were getting to, but you have to go get, you know, you have to go get it. So um, it's a hard work. Right, right. Uh, you know, you learn lessons in life every single day. And what I give my input when I was brand new in the business, and I'll never forget this house, I red carpet, and I said something about it. And the client goes, Oh, I love it. I was like, Okay, you know, relating to people, mm -hmm. I learned that I just let them and see what they like and listen you know so that that's the biggest thing is listening to their wants and needs yeah. whereas I wanted to input my will at the beginning you know so you learn and grow along the way well uh, do you uh, do you do it um all around Las Vegas or I certain do. places or, or I, I do because I have I'm been doing it so long that you know I have a lot of referral business mm -hmm. um, for past clients you know, people that want to sell the house they sold them years ago and move up into a bigger house. Wow. So I, I'm there for my client wherever they want to go live, you know. And so that's really I'm fun because over. one of my uh, big uh, kind of concern before when I was at school as a real, real uh, university uh, school, um, I'm like, if you, you know, um, if you sell this house to a person, you're not going to be able to. They're not gonna buy that house, or maybe they will, but then it's gonna be a while. But you just actually um, bring up something that I'm like, oh, that's right, bigger houses. I think it's upgrade. I think it's yes, right. Oh, that is another market from the person. The uh, what I'm trying to say is 
never ends actually the job right. never ends no and i think with my aunts from the past and my one of my favorite stories is the second neighborhood i lived in i was it was 2002 it started in 2001 and when my neighbors wanted to sell their house and at that time in 2002 i sold their house for 200,000 and they moved up to a $450,000 house and just a few years back um, I moved them up to a $1.3 million house. So it's because you get to watch families grow, you know? Like yeah, the, that's right. The woman started out single, and then she got moved in with her husband, and then they upgraded, you know? And yeah. Yes. So, so um, let me ask you this. Um, you know, it depends on the credit and the income of people, but who um, uh, on your real uh, real uh, third life, uh, do you uh, sell more to younger, like like newly web scanning, right? Or to you know to, to people who are already established life? Um, a maker. You know, there's not one certain age group mm -hmm. that I work with. I mean, it, it's a mixture. Like I sold, um, last year in the last year, um, twenty two year old house, and then I sold, you know, um, an eighty three year old Ward's house. You know, so yeah, so, so the mixture. And then my, my oldest, um, just a few months ago. 98 years old, you know, I sold their home. Nice. And, um, you sold their, their, their home? Yes. Are they moving to another? No, they had to go into an assisted living. You oh, know, that's what you yes, 98 yes. years old, willing, I get to be 98 day, you know, but <laughs> just watching, it, I mean, it's a gift watching, you know, the yeah. young, young ones and, and then the, grow, the older yeah. ones. And, uh, we hope that we stay young forever, right? Right. Yeah, yes. I can just give and watch the world turns. Yeah, that might be a thing. <laughs> One of the interesting topic that we talk about last week is, um, and my head just actually uh, um, turned and I forgot what is the topic that I, wanna, I was going to bring up. But anyways, let's move on and I will get back to the question I have in mind. This is what I do. I do improv questions, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, so be okay. Uh, so, in um, oh, I was gonna ask you. Uh, remember we talked about last week about the credit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, how you you guys can and help the people who doesn't have credit and help them until they. I remember. Do you remember the topic that we talked about the credit? Right. Yes. And uh, so as a realtor, we work with house part, and then if somebody does have credit challenges, um, we have lenders that get their credit cleaned up with credit repair if there's something on their credit that needs to be fixed. Um, so it's definitely a good choice to go and pull your credit wanting to buy a house. You can see that. And, um, you know, and buyers, there are EA buyers that can get a house in the hundreds of credit scores. Ideally, you know, the, the better your credit, the lower interest rate. Right. And lower your uh, down payment, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's just on your income, a bunch of different and factors. factors and yeah. not every, I mean, a lender can tell you this, not every uh, buyer is the same. You know, Every scenario. Don't yeah. compare to anybody, uh, anybody who did so even in this situation.